In Station North, outdoor diners sit next to the temporarily closed Charles Theater. It's a neighborhood gem, an independent movie theater that, like so many in Maryland and across the country, had to shut down back in March because of the pandemic. But Tuesday, Governor Hogan announced that could soon change. Today, I'm pleased to announce that we are able to enter Stage 3 of our Maryland Strong Roadmap to Recovery. That means Friday at 5 p.m., retail stores and houses of worship can increase capacity from 50 to 75 percent. And movie theaters and live entertainment venues can open at 50 percent capacity or up to 100 people inside and up to 250 people outside. I'm excited about the idea of things opening up, but personally, I'm probably not ready to go to a movie theater um, yet or any other crowded uh, situation. I think I'm going to certainly wait and see what happens, um, see how the the theaters are enforcing the new restrictions. Um, I think that's another consideration. It's also not clear yet if all jurisdictions will decide to follow the state's lead and move into stage three. Baltimore City hasn't announced its plans, and a Baltimore County spokesperson told 11 News we're currently evaluating the latest surprise announcement made by the governor and will identify our next steps after consulting with their public health and economic development teams. Howard County and Harford County officials say they plan to move into stage three Friday. There's no question. While announcing his decision, Governor Hogan praised the state's mitigation efforts and said it's absolutely critical to remain vigilant as the state continues to battle the virus. It is also important that we continue to uh, fight to protect and improve our economy and the health of our small business community and our struggling Maryland families. And so to be clear, nothing changed with restaurant guidelines with this move to stage three. We did reach out to Baltimore City officials tonight about the governor's announcement, but we did not hear back. Reporting live in Midtown Baltimore tonight, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News.